Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. A couple of little updates here. Remember I said I didn't know what the heck the little green gems were above the, like, band members that are playing the song on this map screen? Well, it turns out that if you get 130 of those uh, dream crystals, a green gem will appear on the stage, and if you get a perfect 150, a little enemy from something in the game will appear next to it as well. But if you get 150 on every single stage in the game, you get absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's a kind of pointless to collect the gems, just as I figured. <laughs> Well, anyway, let's start the next level here, and I should also mention something about the YouTube subscription box. Is that it's been glitching lately and not showing all the uploads that people have been uploading that I've been following, so that kind of sucks. So, uh, I think you should probably check, check people's channels manually. <laughs> but I guess if you're having the sub box glitch like uh, I have, you might not even see this announcement. Which is even worse. <laughs> but I just thought I would make a mention of that. Oh, and I'd also like to mention that Clonoa also has a move that I haven't shown yet. If you shake the Wii Remote or the Nunchuck, depending on the control scheme that you're using. Um, I'll, I need to have an enemy next to me to show it off, but... Oh yeah, I have to jump up here. <laughs> uh, hearts, don't need that. But what I do need is a key at the end of this walkway here. There we go. I was gonna say it's like a catwalk, but it's not really a catwalk. Well, I guess it could be considered a catwalk to some. Anyway, now we are going to go back. There's actually two paths that you can take. You can go around like this to there, but that's not where I want to go first. And I'll show you why as I get over there. But first, you just gotta stand on this platform and wait a bit. Woo! And I'll go over here. I thought you'll skip that other spot that I showed. Well, I'll, I'll grab that blue gem for the heck of it. Um, yeah, the door that that key opens is right here. That's why you want to go here to begin with. And checkpoint. Um, do not get hit by his spiky balls. It'll knock you right off into the abyss. That happened before when I was practicing. <laughs> so yeah, I think that would uh, be wise if you didn't. Uh, wait, wait. Do I want to go up or down for... Oh, I can't go down. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. And here's those one square jumps that I warned you about earlier that you should be getting used to. Eh. So, be very careful. <laughs> uh, I hope that guy respawns. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use that birdie over there to get that. Or maybe I can just... Eh. Because I, I, I thought it was kind of risky to do it that way because of that. Cause, you know, I'd have to try to recover on the platform, and this game has kind of odd jump controls because of that little floaty float thing that you see right there. And whoop, ow, <laughs> it's that float, it looks like you have a lot of control over it, but it's see how it like stops you in midair well, not stops you, but it slows you down greatly in midair. That kind of throws off your jump rhythm at times, so you're almost it almost seems better off to just jump. Jump for the platforms normally. I, I'm trying to show something here, but I keep messing up. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at uh, that and just do these jumps instinctively like I should be doing. There we go. <laughs> yeah, when, when, when you do thin one block jumps, it's usually best to not even think about them at all. Like, do not think about the abyss. <laughs> I would like to get the monkey friend, there we go, then I can just do that there. Much better. And also watch your shadow over the platforms. That'll also give you a good indication as to where your positioning is in this 3D environment. Do I want... yeah, I want to hit that switch for sure, but I'm pretty sure I can't hit it from this side. Oh, but I can use Mr. Buzzer there to hit that and get a bunch of gems, which doesn't really help me all that much. <laughs> actually. Uh, come on, don't tell me I have to go and loop around. Oh, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. There we go. And wait, wait, that opened that and opened this. So, oh, I see. I was supposed to do a race to get to those gems, or crystals, excuse me, and yeah. And I 
think I want to go in here first. Oh yeah, I'll just show you this. Remember this? Yeah, this is the pathway around that I said don't even bother going. <laughs> that's why I said just wait until later. Okay, that, that's just like a shortcut to over here. Even though it's kind of pointless to do that without the key anyway. <laughs> um, I got a bomb guy and did not mean to do that. Well, at least I got the checkpoint. I am playing ridiculously sloppy at the moment, as you can tell. But that's okay, because there's a lot of checkpoints. <laughs> um, I need a piggy to get that. I think that's some sort of piggy thing, and I was way too close to that explosion. <laughs> it's, it's its own kind of animal, I'll just say that. Cutscene! Now, throw the key away so the main protagonist can't get it. These guys need to learn a little bit about, you know, being evil and being a villain. Although at the same time, it always seems like villains make terrible mistakes. <laughs> anyway, got a bunch of gems over here, I guess. I'll grab a couple of them and not get exploded. Wait, 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 I want you, don't die. I want to break the eggy. Eggy break! Ah, uh, that's not very helpful. I do want to get that, I know. Boop. Delightful! Anything over here besides that locked door? No. Oh, 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 oh! I see that! Yeah, that was kind of useless. <laughs> um, I guess about those gems, if you really want to get 150 on all the stages, I believe you're going to have to do some crazy stuff from what I've seen. But, but, the, but the thing is that you don't get anything for it, so it doesn't really feel worth it. <laughs> Okay, for over here, you want to throw an enemy over there, you know, one of the exploding piggies. And it'll open that door with the explosion, and then you just go inside it. And then we got the Joker here, boasting that I'll never, ever be able to get up there. Well, not boasting yet. There we go. Oh, he's so confident. So very confident. Oh, look, there's a couple of birdie enemies. What should I do? And there we go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do like a double jump thingy there by grabbing an enemy in midair with Hupo and then jumping at your highest point as quickly as possible. You got a little bit of finger acrobatics to do there, but man. Joker is not so confident now, is he? And on the way back, just do that to get the um, trap villager. There we go! And I, I go up here. Do not need the piggy. Piggy bomb. I have no idea what the heck those things are, really. <laughs> Open says me. And now we got a trial and error puzzle, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe, it, maybe the indication is those flowers in the background. Like, maybe this is one, two, three. Oh, okay, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is the old forceful entry here. There we go. <laughs> I have no idea what the indication to that is in the slightest. Or maybe there isn't one. You're just supposed to power through it or something like that. Well, what this does is it starts up these mechanical critters in that area that I collected the key from, of which we're going to have to backtrack, but get, grab that little checkpoint there. There isn't anything else in here. i just like to show this room off. It's a really cool room, I have to say, with the um, detailed leaves. Well, I, I guess it's not that detailed, you know, it's cartoony, but I mean, it, they just added those as uh, give it that room a little bit of flair. And to get back to that other room, all you have to do is... Oh, I thought there was a... Uh, um, oh, here it is. I was one room away from the place that I thought I needed to go, and boop! That'll let you get that blue gem, and this will take you right back to the beginning, if you don't recall. Let's see yeah, where that Marble Hornet symbol is. Let it hit that one more time, and go here. And now you'll be able to ride those platforms to the upper area, and you'll also be able to get that thingy right there. Another trapped villager. 
try and collect these gems as you go, I suppose. It's not really all that dangerous to do so. One more to go! Yeah, I had to shoot in the foreground for that. Th these two enemies right here are like the most useless enemies... ...or enemy positions in the game. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what is the point of putting them there at all? You're not going to go under the treadmill. I mean, you can go under the treadmill, but... ...you're, you're just not going to. <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. There's not, there's no motivation for you to go on that side of the treadmill. <laughs> I guess it's not so much. Well, it is a treadmill sort of thing. And there's the last one. Very, very easy to find. Elevator music. Okay, that was way, way too quickly. Um, checkpoint first to grab the ferry for great. Whoa, great justice. <laughs> Get as many gems as you oh can. Do not get the spike balled. Is that even a verb? Uh, well, it is now. By the way, I forgot to mention those gold hearts, like there, they give you three health back. I mean, uh. Wait, wait, wait. Three? I thought there were three. I, I can't really. Ah, uh, forget it. I, I completely forgot what I was about to say about them. It was about their values. I believe the gold ones give you three hearts, and the regular ones give you one heart. Could be wrong, though. <laughs> I probably should have wrote, wrote that down about the hearts. <laughs> that already looks pretty uncomfortable. I mean, I mean, she's tied up with the rope in midair and being hung, you know, by her body weight. That would get, get pretty uncomfortable. Or at least he knows how to be a villain like that. No. This is a walkthrough, man. I have to play this to the end. Should I be breaking the fourth wall like this? <laughs> it's boss time! Oh, he's so confident. Face palm. <laughs> <laughs> Blabbermouth, blabber it again. But actually, it should be pretty obvious how to defeat this guy. Well, if it's a guy, plants could be any sort of gender. It's very hard to tell. <laughs> and grab a guy, jump on the spring. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's not much more to it than that. It's a really, really easy boss that you shouldn't have any trouble doing whatsoever. Especially if you've got the hang of that little jump jump thingy. Uh, he does have that spike ball thing. Uh, boink. Boink. Oh, that was really, really hard to dodge. He's got a bigger spike ball as well. Oh, and you can also jump, I suppose. I sound very enthusiastic about this boss, don't I? <laughs> well, that's pretty... That's because he's a pretty dang easy boss. And he... Uh, or she was not close enough to a spring, but that's okay. I'll just put you right here. Watch the shadow, wait for it to stop, and then move out of the way, like that. And now you can do this. Yeah, I just had him a little too far away the, the other time. That was my mistake. This boss is very, very easy to beat without taking a hit, but uh, apparently I can't do that. <laughs> just because I'm recording. That's just how it rolls. Oh, here comes the big spike! I believe it's very slow too. Oh, he missed. That's too bad. Come on, little guy. Little munchkin. And that's the end of the boss. I kind of feel sorry for it. Should go into retirement, I guess. Key that's 
English good is Oh, come on, we're the heroes. We can do it. Face palm number two. <laughs> I'm with the Joker on that one. That is that is a tactic. <laughs> all poop. Double poop. Doesn't sound so perfect now. <laughs> but we must do it. We must save our grandpa and save our progress. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. Er, something that I completely forgot to show that I wanted to show was that tornado slash wind attack thingy that you do uh, by shaking the Wii remote when you're using just the Wii remote like you're like I'm doing right now or using the nunchuck or shaking the nunchuck what it does is it stuns enemies or I should say it slows them down and stuns them a little bit it's not really all that useful <laughs> so I rarely if ever use it and it rarely if ever comes to mind to use it so if you don't see me using it, that's why. I mean, when would this come in handy in the whole game? I was able to get through this game without even knowing I had the ability to do this my first run through it, so that should pretty much give you an idea of how pointless this move kind of is. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even do any damage or kill enemies or something like that, so, well... There you go, now you know about it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.